Bill Pentax Sr. has an eye for art. Beautiful. And the heart of a detective. People should know who did this piece. He's needed both those traits to finally meet the simple, graceful woman who's lived with him for more than 30 years. My wife kept saying, you know, she's just about to become your mistress. <laughs> you know? Pentac first saw her in 1977 in Austin at a gallery owned by a German man who told Pentac he was a Nazi sympathizer. Pentac wondered if the art was stolen during World War II. He told me, he said, my father was in the SS, and he was real proud of that. And I saw that there was going to be an auction. Of Six years later, Pentac noticed the painting at a bankruptcy sale and bought it for just $2,000. He knew it was good, but not much else. So he started scouring books at art libraries. Hours and hours and hours. But he never found a thing until just last year. That's when he realized one of the most important clues about the painting wasn't out there somewhere, but inside his house and inside the painting, just a little bit below the surface. A museum curator suggested that Pentac have his painting x-rayed. What that revealed is a very big deal. Good example of Baroque painting. Austin College case, art historian, Dr. Jeffrey Fontana. Oh, look at that. Yep, it's like the rough draft. Flip the x-ray over and you can see where the artist made a first attempt at the portrait. The ear outline of an ear right there. The face is painted in white. And here, the hair. And it means that someone was taking this uh, painting as a, an occasion to produce something new. Something new, possibly an original, but by whom? That answer finally came after more than 30 years when an art expert came across the collection of the Museum of Fine Arts in Budapest, Hungary. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe that this is our painting. The artist, Johann Karl Loth. He worked in Venice and died in 1698. The woman, Ceres, the Greek goddess of fertility. The book says the work belonged to the collection of Prince Nicholas II of Hungary. And did we get lucky? <laughs> we did get lucky. Except today the painting in the book is hanging not in Pentax's home, but in the Budapest Museum. They're saying that yours is a copy. Well, uh, don't you know they would say that? They want to protect theirs. Sotheby's Auction House in New York has concluded Pentax's version to be by Johann Karl Loff and conservatively worth at least $60,000. The Hungarians, though, maintain theirs is generally accepted as the original. They're not going to be making the arguments themselves, I think, um, for demoting their works. What is the truth? Is the painting a treasure stolen by the Nazis? Was it owned by a Hungarian prince? Or is the truth something else altogether? Up to this moment, I thought that this was a detective story. Uh huh. But now I think it's a love story. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. My mother was redheaded, the same as this. And in some respects, I could swear sometimes it looks almost like my mother. I've never told that to anybody. Nothing like a mama. Nothing like a mama. Yeah. Hard to put a price on that.